Good morning. Safety message for the week of March 27th. Having the right safety attitude toward safety. I want to apply the regulation of general duty, and I'm going to use the the uh, wording from the seven-minute safety trainer. Here we go. Take safety seriously. Every employee must take safety seriously in order to do the following. Avoid accidents that cause fires, explosions, or other dangers. Avoid accidents that can cause job-related injuries. Avoid exposure to hazardous substances that can lead to serious illness. Comply with OSHA safety and health regulations. Comply with company work rules, policies, and procedures. Number two. A positive safety attitude makes the most of the company's safety tools and training. When you take safety seriously, you take advantage of the protections that are available on the job. Safety procedures, equipment, and information employees provide include the following. Engineering controls, such as ventilation. Work procedures, such as lockout, tagout. Personal protective equipment, such as gloves and hard hats. Eyewear, emergency planning and response programs such as alarms, evacuation plans, and eye washes. Safety information such as chemical labels and material safety data sheets, now known as safety data sheets. Training on how to do a job right and safely. Carelessness is the most common cause of workplace accidents. Choices, our behaviors, if you will. <laughs> Excuse me. Unsafe acts often are a factor in accidents. The result in people, when people take attitudes like these toward safety. Complacency. After performing a job many times without accident, an accident, you may believe you're experienced enough to skip safety procedures or steps. By the way, I would include wearing your PPE. That's exactly when the accident occurs. Being upset or angry about a situation. You can't let emotions get in the way of doing your job. It's, it's, and, and remind us that we, we need to not wander. Fatigue. Being tired can slow down the physical and mental reactions causing the mind to wander. Recklessness, taking chances with tools and machinery and chemicals, work procedures, it's foolish and dangerous. Being afraid to ask questions. Training and work co procedures cover a lot of ground and sometimes too much to remember. We must always remember to ask when you're not sure what to do, and also how to do it. It shows you're smart enough to know what you don't know. That's my message for the week. Be safe. Make good choices, everyone. Take care.